Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the impressive performance of large language models, LLMs, on high school and college level math tests, which has led many to believe that these models have fully mastered grade school math, especially as shown by the GSM 8K benchmark. However, this raises an important question. Do LLMs truly understand the concepts behind the problems, or do they just recognize patterns? For instance, a recent study on previously unseen grade school problems found that while top-performing LLMs show little overfitting, some models with open weights do exhibit systematic overfitting, likely due to issues with the test set. In our work, we conduct a case study to explore the weaknesses in their reasoning skills and assess how well LLMs can apply learned concepts to new problems. To achieve this, we introduce compositional GSM, a two-step version of GSM 8K that maintains the same level of math difficulty. Each problem consists of two questions where the answer to the first question is used in the second. Since LLMs can solve basic math problems easily, we expect them to handle these combined problems as well. We measure the difference in their performance on individual questions versus the compositional ones. We evaluate various models, including Gemini, Gemma 2, LLAMA3, GPT, Phi, Quen 2.5, and Mistral families. Our key findings reveal a noticeable performance gap between their results on GSM 8K and compositional GSM, which questions their reliability and reasoning capabilities. This gap is especially pronounced in smaller, more cost effective models and those specialized in math, limiting their practical use. Moreover, we find that instruction following tuning affects LLMs of different sizes in diverse ways, suggesting a need to rethink standard training methods. Fine tuning on GSM 8K problems leads to overfitting, particularly with longer training sessions. Smaller models tend to perform better when generating code solutions instead of using natural language for compositional problems, highlighting differences in reasoning skills. Our analysis indicates that the significant reasoning gaps are not due to test set issues but arise from distractions caused by additional context and poor reasoning in the second step. Our goal is not just to introduce another reasoning benchmark but to provide insights into LLM reasoning and encourage a re-evaluation of how we assess these abilities. In compositional GSM, each question consists of two parts, where the answer to the first part serves as a variable in the second. We carefully selected these questions from a subset of the original GSM 8K test set, ensuring that the final answer to the second question is a positive integer and differs from the original answer. We generated multiple candidate solutions for each modified question and filtered them to ensure logical consistency. We also define a reasoning gap based on the expected accuracy of the model on the compositional split, which we calculate using the accuracies from the individual splits. This allows us to quantify the compositional reasoning gap score, providing a clearer picture of the model's reasoning capabilities. Section Summary In this section, we investigate the reasoning capabilities of large language models, LLMs, by introducing compositional GSM, a benchmark that combines two grade school math questions, and we find a significant performance gap between individual question solving and compositional reasoning. Our analysis reveals that this gap highlights the limitations of LLMs in truly understanding mathematical concepts, rather than merely recognizing patterns, and suggests a need for re-evaluation of how we assess their reasoning abilities. Section. Experiments and Results. In this section, we examine the reasoning capabilities of cost-efficient language models, LLMs, which have shown significant improvement over time as measured by standard benchmarks. For instance, we find that models like GPT-40 Mini and Gemini 1.5 Flash achieve over 90% accuracy on the GSM benchmark while being 25 to 35 times cheaper than their more expensive counterparts. This improvement may stem from better data combinations and knowledge distillation. We investigate whether these reasoning advancements hold true for compositional GSM as well. We analyze four model families, each with a high-cost and low-cost version based on parameter count or API pricing. Our findings, illustrated in the results, 
show that while cheaper models perform similarly or slightly worse on the original GSM 8K test, they exhibit a reasoning gap that is 2 to 12 times worse on compositional GSM. Notably, GPT-40 Mini nearly matches GPT-40 and outperforms Gemini 1.5 Pro on standard math reasoning tests. This indicates that the reasoning shortcomings of cost-efficient LLMs might be hidden by their high scores on common math reasoning benchmarks, suggesting a need to rethink our development strategies for these models. Next, we compare pre-trained and instruction-tuned versions of small and large models across three families, Mistral, Llama 3, and Gemma 2. Our comparison shows that instruction tuning significantly enhances performance on the original GSM 8K test set for smaller models, but this trend does not hold for larger models, even though they undergo similar training. This suggests that smaller instruction tuned LLMs have different learning dynamics and generalization abilities compared to larger ones. We also explore math specialized LLMs designed to tackle math reasoning problems. We evaluate four advanced mathematical LLMs and find that they show reasoning gaps similar to other models of comparable size. For example, Quen 2.5 Math 7 BIT scores over 80% on challenging high school competition questions but struggles with less than 60% accuracy on compositional grade school math problems. This is unexpected, as the math test set questions are generally more complex than simply combining two grade school questions. The significant performance difference between the 72B and 7B models on compositional GSM, despite similar GSM 8K results, further supports our earlier findings about the systematic differences in reasoning capabilities among smaller LLMs. Finally, we investigate how supervised fine-tuning affects performance on compositional GSM. We fine-tune the Gemma 227B model using both human-written and synthetic solutions from the original GSM 8K training dataset. Our results indicate that while performance on compositional GSM improves with initial training, it declines after a certain point, suggesting task-specific overfitting. Training on synthetic data generally yields better performance on both GSM and compositional GSM. We observe no further improvements after 400 training steps. This leads us to hypothesize that the trend of using larger training datasets, often filled with synthetic data, may primarily enhance performance on standard benchmarks at the cost of generalization and effectiveness across a broader range of tasks. Section Summary In this section, we demonstrate that while cost-efficient LLMs show improved reasoning on standard benchmarks, they struggle with compositional tasks revealing a significant reasoning gap. Additionally, we find that smaller instruction-tuned models exhibit different learning dynamics compared to larger ones, and that math-specialized LLMs do not necessarily generalize better, often leading to task overfitting during fine-tuning. Section. Reasoning in Natural Language versus Code. In this section, we explore how breaking down natural language solutions into executable code can enhance the reasoning abilities of large language models, LLMs. We assess whether the ability to solve problems improves when LLMs generate Python code instead of natural language chain of thought solutions. For our code generation, we use a specific prompt that includes eight examples, where the answers consist of two functions, one that addresses the first question and another that solves the second question starting with a line that calls the first function. We present our findings for three groups of open-weight LLMs, LLAMA3 with 8 billion and 70 billion parameters, Gemma2 with 9 billion and 27 billion parameters, and Mistral with 7 billion and Mixtral with 56 billion parameters. Our results indicate that generating code generally enhances performance on compositional problems, though the improvements are not consistent across all models. Notably, smaller models show a significant advantage from code generation, highlighting differences in their reasoning capabilities. While code generation can help narrow the performance gap for some models, our main goal is not to completely solve the compositional benchmark. Additionally, we emphasize that the interpretive process leading to the final answer in natural language is often more important than the answer itself, as it allows for broader applicability in various contexts.